We did it, guys. We did it. The fight is over. It's finally over. Oh, man. It looks like teaching magic to the public is okay after all. Let's talk about it. Let's just go. Well, after years of debate and, and all the Facebook posts and people posting on Twitter and talking about how bad us kids on YouTube are, the argument of whether it's okay to teach magic to the public is finally over. And it took Penn and Teller to do it. There's a website called masterclass.com and if you don't know what it is, you should check it out. I think they have some pretty cool stuff on there. And on masterclass, they basically teach different things from the top names in the field of whatever they're teaching. You have Gordon Ramsay on there, you have photographers, you have cinematographers, screenwriters, everything you can name of, chess players, all on masterclass. And I had a question in my head, who was going to be the magician that does it on Masterclass. Masterclass is this big corporate public site that literally just teaches things to whoever's willing to pay for it. And it is a public platform. It is a platform that's meant for people who are not in that industry. They have different types of fields in there. And now magic is on there. And the names that are doing it, Penn and Teller. Uh, I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's great. Somebody was going to do it. Somebody was going to do it. And it was Penn and Teller. And with one fell swoop, all of the arguments about how teaching magic to the public is bad and how it's going to ruin magic literally get thrown out the window. You have Penn and Teller literally teaching magic online for people who are not magicians. It's not geared towards magicians. It's not marketed towards magicians. It's marketed towards people who may want to learn something about magic. So I wonder what the debate is going to be now. I wonder how hard people are going to push and keep this whole barrier to entry garbage as the argument as to why YouTube is still a bad thing, even though it's a public platform. You know, you, you look on Facebook, you look on Twitter, you look on YouTube, and Penn and Teller are publicly announcing and promoting and marketing their class on masterclass.com. So I posted about it. I posted about it on Instagram. I made a little post about it and uh, I started getting some responses and some of the responses were pretty funny because they were saying, oh, well, you know, two great creators and performers from around the world teaching their original magic. And yeah, that doesn't really hold up because if you look at the table of contents, you can see exactly what they're teaching. And two of the things on there, the French drop and cups and balls were not created by Penn and Teller. And I'm pretty sure that some of the other coin moves and card moves that they're teaching, they didn't create in either. They're literally teaching magic online to whoever wants to learn it. And they're talking about theory and they're talking about principle, but it's really interesting how nobody seems to be talking about it now. Nobody seems to be putting down Penn and Teller for teaching magic to the public or talking about the sacred right of the magician and their code. It's, it's just all okay because it's Penn and Teller. Well, I'm glad that it happened and I'm glad that Penn and Teller are the ones doing it. And if you wanna go on there and check it out, I think you should. But let's get one thing clear. This is not geared for people who are already in magic. If you're already in magic and you wanna support the Penn and Teller thing, please go, go right ahead and do that. But don't be fooled and play the, the game that, you know, this is great history and all that. That's not the point, okay? There's plenty of people on YouTube and, and other places who give great history behind their magic. One of the first people was Jay Sankey. And Jay Sankey has come up with tons of magic. And all of the stuff that he teaches on his channel is not all his magic either. But nobody complains about that. They complain about us, the lesser known ones. They complain about the people who are trying to make a difference and trying to bring a different side of magic to things. They complain about that. 
But now that Penn and Teller is doing it, Jay Sankey's been doing it on YouTube for a while. If you want to check out his channel, you're more than welcome to if you don't know about it already. And now Penn and Teller have joined the internet push to teach magic online. Not just teach magic online, but teach magic to the public. And that's the key word, the public. I want to show you guys something. So I have here a little dragon. I'll let you take a look at it. Now, I, I want to show you this specifically for one reason. See, if I do this, it looks like he's following you around, right? This is an optical illusion. I actually downloaded this, cut it out, put it together. It's really cool. You see, it, it almost looks like he's moving around. It's really just a piece of paper. But I'm going to do something very important right now. I'm going to show you how it works. It's literally just paper folded backwards on itself. And what you're seeing is the inside of the paper when I show you like this. But if I were to just leave this here for a second, the illusion doesn't break. You still get the same optical illusion. You're not ruined by knowing how it works. And I think that's an interesting concept to think about magic too, because just because you learn how a trick is done doesn't mean it can necessarily ruin it for you when it's done properly. This is a great optical illusion. And I'm not saying this for every case. I just think it, it brings a point home. So what next? You know, you've had magicians who are against teaching magic and they teach on how to base it or, or how to whatever these websites are, Troom Troom. And now that you have guys like Kyle Marlett who are doing it for this Instagram thing that you see all over the place and, and Steve Brundage and other people. And that's all fine. That's all well and good. That's all okay. So who's really the enemy? Why are we still fighting? There's nothing to fight about anymore. The people who are sitting there saying that teaching magic to the public is bad are wrong because you're only gonna learn it if you're interested. And I'm sure you'll see more of that. Just because Penn and Teller's taught this stuff, and just because I'm teaching stuff and Jay Sankey and, and whoever else, doesn't mean that people can't enjoy magic and don't enjoy it and still don't get into it. We're in the technical age, we're in the digital age. I've seen people post saying that when they do something, they immediately start looking it up online. Yeah, that's just the way things are. They do it with words, they do it with things they don't know. They do it with everything. In the middle of a conversation, you'll say something like, what are you talking about? And they'll look it up. That's how everything is done nowadays. That's the age we live in. And just because you think by not showing it online, they're not gonna do it anyway, everything is online. Absolutely everything. And anybody can look up whatever they want, whenever they want. Not that they'll find it, and not that just because it's online, everybody's gonna know it. There's so many things online that people can learn without school, without having to go. And still, the professions don't lose money off of this stuff. In fact, they use these things to get more money. And then there's the argument of on YouTube, it's not real, you're doing it for likes and all this other stuff. Yeah, I am. And so are everybody else who promotes something on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube. They're doing it for that too, because at the end of the day, it does turn into a dollar. It does turn into a sale. An email list is something that's a viable thing in marketing. So basically, long story short, I think it's time to cut the shit. I think it's time to stop putting down people who have been doing this for a while and trying to do something new and different for a generation that doesn't know about the stuff that's in the past because there's no way for them to find out unless somebody shows them. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to show them some cool stuff. We're trying to show them the way if they want to get serious. This is going to tie into another video I'm going to do, which is talking about how we can't be honest in magic. I'm not going to talk about it now, but that is one of the next kind of talk videos I'm going to do. And I think it's going to be an interesting topic. And I encourage you guys to start a discussion about it, good or bad. Just don't attack. You don't have to like what's being done. You don't have to like the way it is, but that doesn't mean that it's going to change. And that doesn't mean that you're right just because you like it or dislike it. Nowadays, we are in the digital age. Everything is going digital. And if you're not part of that, you're gonna get left behind if you're not already left behind already. So that's it. It brought a smile to my face when I saw Penn and Teller teaching on Masterclass because I knew immediately what that meant. And I knew a lot of things about it. I knew that they got paid for it. I knew that they were going to teach things that they didn't create. 
I knew that they were gonna market it and push it on social media for their public audience to learn and see because it's a marketing push. That's why Masterclass paid Penn and & Teller and Penn & Teller gladly accepted it and they did it. I think that's all I have to say about it. If you guys wanna keep the argument going about barrier to entry and whatever nonsense, you're more than welcome to. It's not gonna change anything. I just felt like it was a little victory for the new generation, even though it took Penn & Teller to do it, which is kind of sad. But if you like what I'm doing here, like, comment, and subscribe. I have a lot of big things coming up. I have one project in particular that I've been working on for a while and it's almost there. I stream on Twitch, I play video games. If you wanna follow me, you can follow me right here on Twitch. It's my username, come hang out. I stream almost every day. Uh, and let me know what you think about Penn & Teller doing this masterclass online for the public. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Don't attack people, because if I see attacking, I will delete the comments. I'm kind of tired of it, I'm kind of done with it. There's been times I've asked questions and people just outright attack me instead of answering the question, and there's really no need for it. If I ask a question like, hey, does anybody know of a certain thing? I really don't give a shit what you think about me. I'm asking a question, and that should be kind of respectful, especially when I come back and say something and people kind of blow up on me. I, I don't think it's right. So don't attack each other for, for each other's thoughts. Have a discussion. Let's talk it out. Let's figure it out. And let's be civil and adults. And I'll see you guys in the next video. A peace out.